So you may be in a position where you want to go ahead and check if your iPhone has a, you know, iOS version that was downloaded, but you didn't install it yet. So essentially the way to go ahead and check this out is to make your way over to your settings panel. You want to go ahead and scroll down into general, which is right here. And the first thing I'd recommend doing is clicking on software update right here and seeing what you see. If you see nothing here and it just says, you know, your phone is up to date on iOS, whatever, then you probably don't have an update that's downloaded. But if you see something down here that says install now, that means the update is downloaded on your device. If you see download and install, most probably you don't have an update downloaded, but that's an easy, quick way to check if you even have a download or you should even be worried about a downloaded, you know, iOS version. Now, hopping back out of here, we want to scroll down to iPhone storage, which is right here. So you want to click on iPhone storage and you'll see a bunch of different things that come up. Now, the reason I brought up, you know, the iOS, you know, checking it there, because if you don't see it there, there's no point in scrolling through this whole entire list. But essentially, if you have your specific device right here and you see an iOS version of any sort, so if it says iOS 15 update, iOS 16 update, iOS 17 update, whatever iOS version you're talking about in the future, well, essentially, you should be able to go ahead and see that iOS version listed here. Now, as you can see, I'm scrolling through. I don't see any iOS version, but you can see there's iOS down here. It's still probably not going to show you anything in particular right here. But within here, you want to go ahead and scroll through. If you don't see iOS at all, then that probably means an update is not downloaded. But if you see it, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on that update. So in this case, we'll just click on NBA 2K Mobile, whatever. Most updates are probably around this size too. So if you see this, all you want to do is click delete. There's going to be a delete button just like this. I don't think it's going to say delete app, but it's going to say delete something. So all you want to do is go and click that delete button, and then that iOS version will be deleted from your phone, the download. Now, it's not going to delete the whole entire iOS version from your phone. It's not going to unupdate your phone or anything like that. Your phone is going to be exactly what it was before. It's just going to have that iOS version deleted. So it's going to save a little bit of space on your phone. So that's pretty much how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.